Did you know consultants make up to $5 million at the most senior levels? Even entry-level consulting jobs straight out of undergraduate programs pay upwards of $150,000. Do you have what it takes to bag one of these coveted consulting offers? We're going to find out. There are many hurdles to overcome if you are after one of these roles. The biggest one probably being the dreaded case interview. I am Ramona Moodley, a former McKinsey consultant and interviewer. I have interviewed over 500 candidates from top MBA programs in the US. And the place in the case interview where most people fall apart is the math question. Today we're going to go through a typical math problem together, a problem that covers most of the things tested in consulting math. Let's go through a typical math problem together today. Get a pen and paper ready and remember calculators are not allowed. And just so you know what to expect, I'm going to give you some context about a client. I'm then going to ask you a math problem to solve. You can then pause the video, work out the problem, come back, we'll look at the answer, we'll walk through the solution, and then I will leave you with my top tips to prepare for case math. Ready? Let's go. Our client is a company called Nutty. Nutty manufactures specialized nuts and bolts for the aviation and automobile industries. This year, Nutty's total revenue was $2.5 billion and 500 million units were sold. The team suspects that Nutty has been experiencing a worrying price decline in their nuts and bolts category. You are asked to figure out what the percentage price decline is of the nuts and bolts over the last five years. What you have found out is that revenue has increased by 25% over the last five years and volume has increased by 66% over the last five years. And that question again, what is the percentage price decline of nuts and bolts over the past five years? Pause now and come back when you have your answer. So let's work this out together. Starting with what we know, we know that revenue this year was $2.5 billion and quantity sold was 500 million units. So we can use that to calculate price this year. If we look back to five years ago, we know that revenue increased by 25% and that volume increased by 66%. So we can use these percentage increases to calculate what revenue and quantity was five years ago and then use that to calculate price. And then we can compare the two price numbers to calculate the percentage price decrease over five years. So why don't we start with what's easiest, which is the price today. So what we have is price today is equal to 2.5 billion. And I'm just gonna write this out with all of the zeros. And I'm gonna divide that by 500 million and if I were to do this math quickly, what I end up with is 25 over 5, which equals $5. So price today is $5. Now we want to calculate the price five years ago. So let's look at revenue first. So this is the revenue in year zero, and that's going to be 2.5 billion over 1.2 five and I'm just going to calculate that as fractions to make it easier for me so what we have is two and a half over one and a quarter and if I convert that into fractions that's five over two divided by five over four which equals to two billion dollars so that's what I have here. And then if I were to follow the same approach for quantity sold in year zero, it would be 500 million. I'm just gonna ignore the units for now over 1.66. 
And if, again, I convert to fractions, this becomes 500 million over 1 and 2 over 3, which equals 500 over 5 over 3, which equals 500 times 3 over 5, which equals 300. All right, and that's 300 million. Now we can calculate price. So I'm going to do that over here. So price in year zero is very simply 2 billion over 300 million, which is equal to 20 over 3, which equals 6 point six six dollars all right now that we have price the two prices we need we need the percentage price decrease and that is equal to six point six six minus five over six point six six which equals one point six six over six point six six and if this seems intimidating, if you just convert both to fractions, let's see what we end up with. So we have one and two over three over six and two over three, which equals to five over three over 20 over three, and the threes cancel, and that's five over 20, which equals to 25%. And so that's our answer, 25%. The percentage price decline over the past five years is 25%. If you got that answer right, let me know in the comments. To summarize some of the things you need to brush up on to get ready for your case math, be sure that you can easily work with large numbers. So billions, millions, hundreds of thousands. Those are tested a lot. Memorize the numbers 1 over 2 to 1 over 12 in their decimal form so you can easily convert back to fractions. As you notice through this example, it is much easier to work in fractions than it is to work in decimals. Make sure you are familiar with some of the basic mathematical formula like percentage increase and decrease how to increase a number by a certain percentage and decrease a number by a percentage, and things like break even and payback period. During the case, remember to lay out your formula first before plugging in the numbers. This allows your interviewer to follow along with you and they can easily step in and help you or nudge you in the right direction if you are veering off track. If you are considering a career in management consulting and are preparing for consulting case interviews, good luck with your preparation. You might find my next video on how to prepare most efficiently helpful. Good luck.